yeah, that's a pretty good explanation of what anger is and what happens when we don't know how to manage anger appropriately. Anger is a mobilizing force. It's a force of energy that comes over you. When compared to the other emotions, anger can have the most damaging effects. It can make us say things or do things we later on come to regret. That's why one of the most important things when it comes to anger management is the ability to take a step back. To be able to catch yourself in the middle of lighting up like a firework and stop for a moment before exploding completely. Anger is a very common emotion. You might feel it in situations where you feel you've been mistreated or something is unfair. We also feel anger when we are frustrated because something is preventing us from reaching a desired goal. Anger is a mobilizing force behind fighting injustice. However, if not managed appropriately, it can really turn into a Hulk smash frenzy. The adrenaline that is released into your body when you begin to feel anger is also often accompanied with muscle tension, sweating, face turning pale or red, and a dramatic increase in breathing rate. In this moment, your body is preparing for action, preparing to fight. But is whatever we are preparing to fight for justified? The ever so popular sentence, it's not fair, is actually very subjective. What makes us angry depends on our individual characteristics, such as having low frustration tolerance or having unreasonable expectations. But at the same time, external factors can decrease our frustration tolerance, making us more likely to hulk around. By the way, to hulk around means to act out based on the feelings of anger. The external factors that play a role in decreasing your frustration tolerance include stress, anxiety, physical or emotional pain, drugs, alcohol, or several smaller irritations during the day, aka having a shitty day. No matter whether the reason is external or internal, there is always something you can do. Anger can be either channeled into productive tasks or it can become a destructive force in your life. Interestingly enough, anger is one emotion that men consider acceptable to display. Since our society frowns upon boys or men crying, emotions like sadness or fear are likely to be expressed as anger. Several studies show that when men feel scared or depressed, they actually display anger. But gender differences aside, what does anger do to your body? The average heart rate is about 80 beats per minute. When we are experiencing anger, this can go up to 180 beats per minute. Our muscles become uptight and the body is preparing for action. This energy has to go somewhere. Acting out because you're feeling angry is definitely not the way to go, but neither is suppressing feelings of anger. The physical consequences of suppressed anger are heart attacks, strokes, metabolic muscle or respiratory problems. So how can we express anger so that it's healthy for us physically, but also safe to the environment? Think of the next tip as the first aid when you're feeling angry. Breathing. When you can feel yourself getting overwhelmed with this energizing emotion of anger, take three deep breaths. Secondly, consider leaving the trigger situation and change your environment. If you just had a nasty fight at home with your sibling, consider going into another room or outside of the building. Physically separate yourself from whatever is triggering your feelings of anger. Another important part of managing anger in a healthy way is expressing yourself. You know what happens to a champagne bottle when someone shakes it? Pressure builds up until it explodes. Once again, this energy has to go somewhere. Sports is a great way of releasing the energy in a way that will actually be beneficial for you in the long term. Writing and painting are also perfect tension releasers. But there's another trick for anger management. Someone did something mean to you and you feel angry about it? Write them an angry letter. Feel free to swear, use capital letters and a billion exclamation points. When you are done writing, tear up the letter and throw it away. I promise you, you will feel a lot more relaxed. 
A very important message connected to emotional intelligence in general is taking responsibility for your emotions and the actions that come from those emotions. Just because someone's actions made you feel angry doesn't mean this person needs to be the witness or even worse, the victim of your emotions. Expressing emotions, especially anger, is necessary, but it's even more necessary to do it appropriately. Another great way of releasing the tension from your body after you get angry is laughter. Joy is the antidote to anger and using laughter can help in regulating the tense situation that made you angry in the first place. In this video, we're not actually going to have a question. It's going to be a challenge for you guys. Choose one of the anger management techniques that you just learned about and the next time you feel angry, use it. If you think that you might forget, make a note and keep it somewhere where you will see it. The point is to stay on an emotionally intelligent track, which is why in the next video, we're going to take a look at fear. You just watched an exclusive preview of the Emotional Intelligence for Millennials online course. To get the full access, follow the link in the description box below.